Going to bend your football gear, Mario. He's distraught. He still doesn't have his dog. God. Look at this tantrum. <laughs> Don't worry, whenever this, a dog runs away, they come back like 10 minutes later. It's it's fine. This is frustration. This is rage. He's he's so insecure. No! No! <laughs> Lost forever! No! Dog's a hunter. Look, it's a big city. Someone's gonna want that dog. Well, it's a prohibitively expensive to own pets in New Donk City. Which Donkey Kong character is the shelter named for? <laughs> um... Hmm. Yeah, none of them. Yeah, they I guess you're right. Kill dogs. <laughs> <laughs> they kill dogs. <laughs> Is that a undocumented effect of a uh, 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 the Great Ape War? <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, history. Snow Kingdom! History is written by the victors, and the victors were the Kongs, <laughs> so they can Who write out all their dogs. dog murder crimes out of the history books. <laughs> Oh, it's good to be back. <laughs> so excited to see my roly-poly best buds. Yeah. <laughs> Luigi needs help. Lu you gotta dress warmer, like a football player does. <laughs> Luigi needs help. Football <laughs> players are cold, oh, too. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised nobody uh, made fun of me about it yesterday when we were talking about... Uh, while uh luigi's web content and i immediately started talking about waluigi mm -hmm. uh that that wasn't a mistake the fact is that they are one and the same the only difference between them is mario's perception mm. mario cannot conceive of of anyone uh more complicated than you know himself <laughs> So whenever <laughs> Luigi does something dodgy, it, it's processed in his mind as a completely separate entity. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I saw somebody in the comments of the previous episodes say that the bread tube of Nintendo characters would be Kirby, and I extremely disagree with that because Kirby doesn't know how to fucking talk. <laughs> Kirby does not articulate thoughts. He eats food. If anything, he would just be a... He'd just be somebody who taste tests, like, Pizza Hut, uh, pizzas. But he'd just inhale them and yeah. he's done. I do see the, the logic in it being Kirby, though, because he's the only one with wardrobe changes. <laughs> okay. At, at least until this game, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, now Mar Yeah, with, with the, uh, the current generation of consoles, both Mario and Link have learned how to change clothes. <laughs> I guess Link could kind of change clothes, but it was just the same sh the, the same stuff, but in different colors. Link is a makeup blogger. <laughs> Always doing tips. Yeah. I mean, he's got those really nice anime eyelashes. He's got to get yeah. those somehow. <laughs> I want to see the palette Link uses. <laughs> Pretty easy to miss Moon right over here. Ooh, tricky, tricky. Looking back on the flower road, you'll never find it if you're really role-playing Mario. Mario <laughs> keeps moving forward. It's true. Uh, depending on your timing of picking up that Moon, sometimes you'll, you'll have a... Might pick it up a little too late, and one of the bullet bills will be, like, inches away from, from hitting you <laughs> when, when time freezes, when you pick up the moon, and then once it unfreezes, you just get nailed and you fall into the poison abyss. Yeah, but it makes for a great screenshot. It's good, though, yeah. <laughs> I really do want to see, though... You know, with, with all the different Mario sports games, I really do want to see what a Nintendo interpretation of American football would be like. Yeah. Because, I mean, Mario Strikers was pretty cool, and I'm not even a person who, like, likes playing sports games that much, but... As long as they keep the uh, Mario Strikers Waluigi Crotch Chop Victory Dance... Oh, whenever naturally. ...whenever Waluigi, uh... Mm -hmm. ...does a touchdown. <laughs> 
I mean, there are way more touchdown celebrations in American football. That's true. Than any other sport because they don't have touchdowns. But mm -hmm. the point still stands. Yeah. Mmm, round belly. The mouth mm. has an intriguing shape. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be less of a, a non sequitur if you talk to this hat first, right? Yeah. Okay. He, he, he uh, he specifically like wants to like document fish or study them or something like that so and how intriguing their mouth shapes are oh yeah it's i mean it's the number one goal of studying fish mouths <laughs> how many other animals are categorized by the size of their mouths just bass as far as i can recall <laughs> uh i can't exactly. think of anything else yeah exactly Having the uh, race bring the like the snowstorm back mm -hmm. uh, reminds me of the first time I played this. Like when I first got here and there was the big snowstorm, it made the level feel like it was very very big. Mm -hmm. And I thought this was going to be like one of the big like kind of sprawling levels like Toast Arena is. Uh, and it's really funny that this ends up being one of the smallest kingdoms physically. <laughs> it's super tiny. Yeah. Congratulations, yeah. he set a record. This is one of the easier races out of all the worlds. Uh, mm -hmm. well, we'll do the second one and show the, the faster route. But, like, the fastest route I have found is basically the exact same route that the uh, the golden Koopa takes. You just have to do it slightly better than him. Because <laughs> in a lot of the other ones, there's even better routes than the one he takes. But, but over here, the, the Koopa's been studying footage... Yeah, he's been uh, <laughs> watching his doing tapes. practice runs before he got here, yeah. Yeah, Yeah. when you jump off, there's a cheap cheap right here, and you want to grab that. <laughs> whoa, 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 they're buoyant? What the fuck <laughs> is this? Apparently, yeah. Since when? Yeah, you just, you just gotta... Basically, the big game changer is just long jumping and making sure to hit this cloud with your your hat to stun mm -hmm. him out of blowing a big gust of wind because the, the Koopa, he, he actually just sits there and waits for them to stop blowing. <laughs> Saves you like five seconds. It's a pretty advanced racing strategy to sit and wait for a while. <laughs> That's how you know a real pro. He's pacing himself. <laughs> Now, now, when you get to the water table, you want to take one to splash on your face, you want to take one to drink, and then you just want to sit down and kick your feet up for a while. Yeah. We already picked up those notes. Fuck your notes. It's still a big missed opportunity that the notes don't make a song like they did in uh, Galaxy 1 right? and 2. It was the best thing! Like, there's so many people who make big... big YouTube rants. <laughs> that take three hours to complete, complaining that X was removed from a port or remake of a game, but no one was upset about the, the fucking notes in this game? Hey, I'm upset. Okay. I just have better time ways to, to express it. <laughs> <laughs> I got too much on my plate to, to actually do that about it, but I am indeed upset. Okay. Oh, speaking of, uh... Like, you know, we're not taking giant breaks in between recording a couple updates this mm -hmm. time around or anything, but there has been more Mario news recently in that it looks like basically every 3D Mario game may be getting ported to the Switch. Uh, <laughs> that's... I'm fine with that, actually. Ooh. I would love to have every Mario... 3D Mario uh, on a portable system. Mm -hmm. Especially Mario Sunshine, a game I really wanted to replay recently, but yeah. uh, I just haven't bothered pulling my GameCube out. Does it have notes? I forget. Uh, no, Sunshine doesn't have notes. No. Okay. I am curious you know, how they... if they did, they'd play a song. It, yeah, probably. <laughs> I am curious how, uh... 
This rabbit is also a little annoying to get. I'm sorry, everybody. Uh, there's no caterpillar <laughs> this time. You just gotta be good with the hat. And this. Slopes. There you go. Yeah, if you do, if you do time it out right, you can uh, curl Mario Mario up into a ball and just roll down the hill and, and get him. Mm -hmm. um, also helps keep him warm at night. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I preserve my metabolism. Yahoo! Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm curious how they would port Mario Sunshine because a big part of that game was like, oh, we have these analog triggers for squirting mm -hmm. water out of the backpack, and they don't have that in the Switch controllers, so... <laughs> I don't know. Um... How yeah. important was it really, though? I mean... To the actual play experience. I, I feel there were... It's probably not that important, honestly. I think it's probably more like how there's a bunch of moves you can do with the hat in this game that can only be done with motion controls, but a couple of them right. are useful if you really want to get into using those. Mm -hmm. I remember the big... Um, there was a move Mario could do in that game where you, you spun the stick around really fast mm -hmm. and, like, pushed down really hard on the trigger and he would spray water, like, all around him really far and the, the distance depending on how, how hard you were pressing the button, but maybe he'll just shoot it really hard forever now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, it's puzzle time with wow. our big fluffy friend. It's puzzle time. It's a very I easy puzzle. It. But yeah. I like the idea of it. <laughs> oh, oh, and okay, color yeah. coded and everything, huh? This is another thing where I think it's a, a one-off, and they don't have like a harder puzzle that shows up later on or something. I could be mistaken, but it is no, one of those things. No, not yet. <laughs> it's moving fast and blowing wind is the same button. <laughs> uh. And that's why Usain Bolt is very smelly. <laughs> do, do not stand behind that man. Oh, man. Uh, blowing and sliding. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Also, there's, like, uh, in any of these kind of, like, puzzle areas that, that use the same layout, you can always see, like, a big, like, floating island in the background. You can never get to it. Bullshit. You're just not trying hard enough. I'm, this I'm is Mario Odyssey, goddammit. I've always been curious if that's just like a skybox thing or if it's an actual modeled thing that you could, you know, if you could jump extra good, if you could actually, like, reach it. There are some uh, videos out there of players trying to reach similar areas to that and actually being able to make it eventually that are pretty mm -hmm. fun. Uh, there's... There is a final level that you can unlock in this game that's like the, the giant, like, super challenging level that has a huge mountain, like, really far off in the distance that people have been able to figure out how to actually get there. There's nothing there, but it's very satisfying to see him do it. <laughs> it's like the one thing where they didn't actually put a bunch of secret coins there. Something else I've been curious about. I haven't seen this crop up for this game, so maybe it just hasn't happened like with some other Mario games, but... You know, there, there's a decent amount of, uh... I love that that one's just out. Oh, yeah, oh it's, it's from the last shard. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, there are a couple that were just hanging out earlier. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, like Mario 64 and Sunshine and Galaxy 2, I think? All have some weird elements to them that make people theorize like, oh, was this some weird cut content? Is this remnants of some extra stage? Mm -hmm. And also our favorite boys are back. Yes. I love yes. them. They're still shy. I love that they wear the heaviest knit clothing in every other kingdom globally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would love to see one in a tank top. Like, how would Aww. the straps even lay on these spheres? Yeah. Um... What do their arms look like without sleeves? Right. Mmm. <laughs> oh, You're yeah. gonna have to pay me extra for that, big boy. <laughs> um, yeah, in a bunch of the 3D Mario games, there are some weird things that, that people have 
you know, data mined and, and, and explored the game with, with glitches and stuff to see what, what they're all about. Mario 64 had the weird, really low-res texture that looked like it said, uh, L is real 64 mm -hmm. or something like that that made people think there was some secret way to unlock Luigi as a playable character in 64. <laughs> uh... No, it's just a big Death Note thing. No, no, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. Only a serious tough guy would do this, Mario. <laughs> You're a real beast. <laughs> um, Mario Sunshine has, like, a level where... Uh, you have to dive underwater inside, like, a giant glass bottle, and at the very bottom is a little sand, sand castle or something in it, and if you clip the camera through it, there's, like, a... a a book inside of it that is used nowhere else in the game that was like a remnant from some cut uh shine that you could get in that game mm -hmm. there's a, a skybox in mario galaxy 2 that has like weird little alien people silhouettes that are really yes. tiny remember those guys those are creepy i love them i love those guys uh but i i haven't seen anything like that for Odyssey yet. Um, I don't think there's any really peculiar stuff in this game. <laughs> I don't right. think there's any really peculiar stuff. Anyway, you can get an axe. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good outfit when we get, when we get around to that, that one. Apparently gets planted in your head? Oh Is yeah. It, I, that's yep, a hat? It, it sure does. It's a good outfit. Um... Yeah, I'll have to I'll have to double check on that. See if there's any any weirdness like those those alien silhouette guys from Galaxy Two in this game. Uh, also, yeah. yeah, the only Santa. weirdness in this game is you know you take your shirt off for a guy and then he moons you. <laughs> um. Um, but yeah, this outfit of course was one of the the free update outfits that they put out for. Not last Christmas, but 2018 Christmas, I think? This chef does not know what a spice is. Hmm. You cannot use ice for spice. Hmm. Oh, look at that coat! It's a good coat. Oh my goodness, That's adorable! Pretty cute. You can, you just have to <laughs> override someone's super ego. <laughs> Kind of weird to be enjoying this place and already thinking about where you're going to travel next. Yeah. Look you were moment, just Peach. in the city half an hour ago. I know, because I was too. <laughs> um, yeah, I've also especially wanted to play Mario Sunshine just because it's, it's, uh, it's got good summer vibes, and I need that right now. <laughs> And we can't get above 40 degrees any given day. Yeah. It's it's a little warm. I actually have the window open and it's okay right now, but that's also because I have two PCs in here and they pump out a lot of heat and I have the door closed while I'm doing commentary <laughs> so it gets really hot otherwise. Hey, buddy. I like your big old pacifier. Um... <laughs> I like that a hood is still a hat, but does that mm -hmm. mean the entire hoodie is the hat person now? Or just the hood <laughs> part? Yeah, they could have just went with one of those guys wearing a hat. <laughs> yeah. But no. Also, I, I love the new Donkers wearing the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> very good. Very, very I, good. I still just love the look of the normal ass humans in this game they're, they're still just off enough and they're cheering for you they're so happy to see you yeah the other ones don't turn around this much <laughs> like they they have such a sonic 2006 look to them mm -hmm. that guy looks like he might be named roberto robert you don't know <laughs> i love roberto robert yeah, why, why don't we ever see them looking like this guy out in any of the more tropical kingdoms? <laughs> right? So 
So yeah, the the mandatory race that you had to do uh, the first time we were we were here was the Class A circuit. There's an S as well. That's a little harder. Mm hmm. It's not too bad, but you still have to get a a pretty big majority of your jumps like perfectly timed to yeah. not have to worry. Ooh, nice one. Yeah. There are Very some, proud of you. There are some, like, cases where you actually don't want to get a perfect time jump, and that's basically if you just hit a slope at a weird angle because it will send you shooting, like, rocketing straight up, <laughs> not covering any <laughs> distance. Yeah, like those little ramps, if you were to, like, bounce right off the middle of it, you would just go straight up. Mm-hmm. I feel like these guys should be uh, characters that you can you can pick from in Mario Kart. <laughs> <laughs> do they have a cart? No, they do this. No. <laughs> oh no 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 no! There you go. Yep. Imagine if you just lost it at the last second. Yeah, that would suck. But yeah, they they should race in Mario Kart the way they do races in this game. And then mm -hmm. they should just finally fucking put Sonic in Mario Kart, and he should just run. Mm-hmm. What? They never no, he, let... he gets the, the airboard from uh, oh, Sonic right. Riders. Yeah. I can't believe Sega themselves have never let Sonic just fucking run in a racing game. <laughs> That's not true. No, wait, Sonic R? Yeah. No, yeah, you're right. Okay, yeah. Never mind, then. You remember when we let's played Sonic R? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Am I a natural? No, no, you're all natural. It's different. <laughs> um, yeah, there's some other extra moons down here that get added uh, mm -hmm. from from the post game. There's one in each little like branching area, but they're th none of them are like interesting. They're all just kind of there. <laughs> <laughs> you just go in there, it's like, oh, there it is, okay, I got it, so we're, we're not bothering with those ones. If I were uh, uh, designing this, I would, like, after you do the, the S-rank race, mm -hmm. you'd be able to just go out as Mario onto the racetrack. <gasps> and oh, that, man. And that would be full of, like, the, the little toad puzzle style moons just oh, around the track. That would be fun. I like that mm -hmm. idea. Only this Koopa's head is cold. <laughs> are their shells really warm? Oh, very, very insulated. Those things are... They're, they're basically asbestos. Okay. So yeah, that's that's how some of them can throw fire, and it's not a big deal. Ah, uh, okay. See, so yeah, it's another one of these, except uh, you gotta get 90 oh, points. ice. And it's ice. It's hard. First time I played this game, I had to do this one a lot. Oh, nice! Ta-da! That was a serious business walk. <laughs> this Koopa respects a good walker. <laughs> That's why he hangs out at the mall at uh, 7 a.m. <laughs> just watches all the retirees. Is that a thing anymore? That used to be huge, right? <laughs> I mean, like, mall walkers? I mean, yeah. I'm pretty sure there's still a couple. They're running I mean, out of malls, frankly. I mean, yeah, that's true. I mean, okay, so... There is a mall cl close, like, a 15-minute drive away from where I live that is literally the very first mall ever. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. And it's still open, it still exists. It's a weird, sad mall. Mm -hmm. And it's definitely full of mall walkers. <laughs> uh, As we speak, it's very irresponsible. Yeah. Uh, it's worth it to... Uh, okay, there's two good things in that mall. There's an art co-op that's really good. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Affordable art supplies. Um, and a genuine, actual, real Italian food place opened up there. <laughs> and it's really fucking good. And that, that is the name, General Act... Genuine, actual, real Italian food place? Yeah. Uh... Oh man, it's really good, though. 
really good sandwiches, really good pizza. They, uh, th- they turn it into an acronym and, and just sort of fiddle around with it. It's called Garifuepes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Garifuepes. <laughs> I love Garifuepes. <laughs> <laughs> Garifuepe, your grandmother, she worries. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's uh, behind that that moon crystal was this mm-hmm. other area with a secret race course, a completely yes. new course. Uh, there's two races here in A and a S circuit, uh, and both of them are actually pretty damn hard. Yeah, this uh, looks tricky, especially and- this little area. It can really mess up your chain of, of good jumps. Mm-hmm. But it looks so cool to have a tunnel. Yeah, it is Tunnels fun. are just better than not tunnels. Yeah. I think that's why people enjoy trains so much. They have the most tunnels <laughs> of any uh, <laughs> mode of transportation. Mm. Never seen an airplane go through a tunnel. And frankly, I hope I never do. Yeah, same. Uh... I don't know why, when you first brought up the mall walkers and, and, and the Koopa enjoying <laughs> watching them, I was imagining people b- being as passionate for spotting Walmart, ma- mall walkers as they were train spotting. And that was a really fun thing to <laughs> imagine for a second. I, I guess watched... mall walker spotting, the Ewan McGregor movie where he's <laughs> addicted to just, just weed. <laughs> Congratulations. Finish strong. Good yeah. job, Blobby Buddy. <laughs> Supersonic Snowman. How is this guy getting all these moons? Is he fixing the races? Mm. Is this a kickback? Look, he makes a lot of money. He never discloses how. <laughs> Probably stole it all from that power plant in New Donk. Yeah. Yeah, the the S S rank circuit for this. Uh, man, you got to be near perfect the whole way through if you want to win. Whoa! Uh, and try not to do jumps like that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, most of the racers, like like in all the other races, there's always a couple that are bad enough that you'll always be like a whole lap ahead of them. But mm-hmm. almost all of these guys. Uh, can catch up to you pretty quickly, so. And it's definitely more of a race where you're not trying to get a lead really early on and it's just try to keep it. It's you will not get the lead until the very end. <laughs> Focus. Eyes on the prize. Right. You win this race for going to Giuseppe's. <laughs> Oh boy, Giuseppe's! <laughs> America's first ever mall! Oh no, no, it's... Giuseppe's is, is a different place. It's got a different name. Okay. But, but people get confused all the time. I gotcha. It's down the road. Uh, man, I was really looking forward to going to America's first ever mall where they <laughs> never bank on that history they have and just let it be very sad. <laughs> I don't know why they don't do anything with it! It's I mean, just, <sighs> I would love to see them uh, lean into it in a very, like, ill-advised way. <laughs> like, look at the beginning of America's mistakes. <laughs> yeah, turn into, like, a weird museum of mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> the first rivet driven into the Titanic. <laughs> Who could have known? It's not the rivet's fault. Some say that this mall is the beginning of all of America's mistakes. <laughs> That's extremely not true, but <laughs> <laughs> But if it gets you coming in to check out the art co-op, we will say it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so happy. Mm-hmm. Look at the And Look I, I love that uh now he just thinks racing is fun. He's finally over his fear of racing. <laughs> Hooray! You're Yay. the best racer in the world. <laughs> his world's gonna come crashing down the next time he races. <laughs> <laughs> he 
he seems to only choose to race when being piloted. So I don't <laughs> think it's going to come up. I think he just retired. Oh, uh, no, yeah, you might be right, actually. It's going to go down in history. But every kid in, in Snow Kingdom is going to get that haircut. <laughs> yeah. He's just going to live off the, the sponsorship deals now. Yeah. Not doing anything with that nut? Whoop. We've already used that nut before. We've used that nut? Okay. Yep. It is a respawning nut. We want a nut in nut. the same place twice. Oh, yeah, no. It's, uh... You get cursed if you do that, I think. <laughs> uh... I, I love that you flubbed up a, a platforming challenge and then decided not to. <laughs> yeah. There is literally no reason to do this. Yep. Hey, dog's Doggy, back. you came back! You came back to me! Oh, I can't wait to see Homeward Bound 3, the flying dog. <laughs> there mm. we go. That's a good way to be. Sh sure, yeah. Hey, uh, where does Mario get his, his, uh, ingredients? I don't know where. From the refrigerator. Ah, football nicknames. Ah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Tyler the Refrigerator Perry. Uh, <laughs> congratulations. Wow. That 506. That's not an error. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's another... If you get exactly 404 moons, does, does your shit blow up? Yeah, it softlocks the game. You can never uh, <laughs> travel from the, the world you're in. But yeah, getting 500 moons is uh, what you need to unlock the darker side of the moon, uh, which is home to the hardest level in the game, which we'll eventually Ooh. be getting to. Uh, it's a really fun level. Uh, and yeah, there's, there's basically nothing else you can... Like, there's a couple more outfits you can unlock with even more moons, but there's no more levels to unlock. There is one world left to conquer, but, you know, it depends on how you define conquer. Yeah.